Oh, what was the one from the middle table then? Titanic. Ladies, ladies, ladies restroom with a titanic. Ladies restroom with a titanic. Let's just do that one. Let's just do that one. And uh, what would the title of our musical be set in the ladies room? We just call it the toilets over here um, of the Titanic. Women and children first. <laughs> 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 Makes so much sense, doesn't it? Uh, lovely. Well, ladies and gentlemen, um, it's my honour to present to you Music Box, who are performing set in the ladies' room of the Titanic. Uh, ladies and children first. <laughs> It's so relaxing when one wants to evacuate one's bowels. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but Quinya, I love to stand here looking out of the round window and admiring all of the flora and fauna of the sea. The other day I saw a porpoise <gasps> gaily dancing atop the waves. <laughs> Porpoises. My old Henry used to love a porpoise. He used to say, they're like the pixies of the sea. <laughs> Just Never. the way they bob and weave. <laughs> Never a true word been speak, and may God rest his soul. What a fine man he was, and what a horrible, tragic, disgusting way he went. <laughs> yes. A thresher. <laughs> he didn't even work in agriculture. No. <laughs> That's why I say the upper classes should stay out of the fields. Yes, you, you wash your hands in anger, Bequinia. That'll make it feel better. I'm sorry that I couldn't attend the funeral. <laughs> yes, I, I was aboard another ship. You and your reviews for the liners. Susan, reviewing Susan. 
That's <laughs> all you do. That's why you've never married. Listen, Bequinia. If I have to quit out a review or two, that's what I have to do. I'm an independent woman with a desire to write reviews for ships, frigates, boats, and other seafaring vessels. <laughs> yes, it's weird that they let me on military boats. But you are very persuasive. Truth, that is truth. That's why I wish you'd been there when my Henry said, I might go down to the fields. I want to see what the thresher looks like. <laughs> was that another of his sayings, or was that a direct statement? A bit of both. Oh. <laughs> he often used to sit by the window and look out and say, I might go down to the fields. I wonder what the thresher is like. And I go, no, Henry! I might go down to the fields. I want to see what the fre thresher's like. Uh, my memories are so vivid. <laughs> it's like they're in the room. And his stutter was endearing, wasn't it? <laughs> what an endearing chip. Uh, 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 if I want to go down to the thresher, I'll damn well do, 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 do it. <clears throat> and his penchant for repeating things whilst stuttering. You think, why are you doing it to yourself? You stutter. <laughs> it's just going to cause more problems, but it was so endearing. Listen, I've... My Henry. I have a lot of sympathy for you because I feel as if... I've found a palpitation upon a seabaring station. <gasps> and he's aboard this ship now. You're in love, Susan. I don't want to say the word captain, but captain. <laughs> There's no captains in the ladies' room. There's no sailors in the ladies' room. But in your heart, there's a frigate full of eager seamen waiting to erupt and come out. It's as if love is a lifeboat bumping on the tide of my unrivaled Everyone's got it. You must have been here for quite a while. I was outside for 20 minutes checking 
It was empty. It's so... this damn ship's food. It's binding me up something awful. Oh, Mum! <laughs> it's I'm... most unladylike. I don't know what to do. I'm sorry. Um, well... And, to make it worse... Yeah? Oh. There's no more Lou rolling here. I've got a mop. <laughs> is, it, is it relatively clean? Actually, Mum! Actually, Mum! I've got... It's a brand spanking new handkerchief that my mother gave to me as I bid her farewell. And I wasn't going to use it because it's the only thing I've got that she gave me, but... You're going to shove it underneath! Okay! <laughs> <laughs> you got it, Mum! Thank you! It's all right. It's got, it's got my initials on it. She, she embroidered it herself. <laughs> With her arthritic canes, just before they were amputated. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you just pass it back, I'll just oh. give it a, a rinse and... I'm so frightfully sorry, but I... I committed it to the briny blue. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh well. But you've done me a great service, my dear. Yeah. Allow me to reward you. This necklace was given to me by my mother, and she said, were I ever to be in a situation where I should dub somebody with this diamond because they've done me a good turn, well, you jolly well do that, Rosie. You jolly well do that. That's what she said to me. Um, so, Mom, so you have this. Are you sure? Oh, yes, yes. It, it goes absolutely wonderfully with your eyes. Oh, thank you, Mom. Well, I mean, it doesn't seem like a very fair swap, but... Well, Mother always said, Rosie, if you get caught short, you must do anything and repay any, any, anybody's goodness to you. So I have. Uh, I'm Rosie de Montfort. Oh, I'm Mavis Jones, Mum. Mavis, what a lovely name. Is, oh, is that you. Russian? Uh, no, it's London. Oh! <laughs> right. Well, Mavis. <laughs> it seems like we've got something in common, Mum. Both love our mums. Well, yes. I love my mother so much in my heart. I feel her tender touch. Oh. She imparted such simple information that now I feel okay. Oh. Eat up all your food. Wipe away the dirt. Clean yourself up and practice the piano, Rosie! Mm. You will know you'll be a proper little lady when you just listen to Mama's advice. Quarters, possibly the most masculine room in the entire ship. Sir, tea and biscuits are ready whenever you want them, just like you are, sir. Thank you, Cliff. Please wheel them in. Sir, your slippers and bathroom and cigar and pipe are ready, sir. Dress me and apply them, will you please, <laughs> Rolf? Sir, permission to speak, sir. Yes, Cliff. Would you like me to serve you the tea while you get dressed at the same time, sir? 
Repeat. Would you like me to feed you the tea and biscuits while you get dressed to save time, sir? Correct. Oh, you're nearly finished. It's not going to be much of a request. It's okay. You can do it afterwards. Rolf here takes time applying slippers and a pipe. Feed me. <laughs> Would you like a cup, sir? Would you like me to pour it straight down your throat? Wait, wait, wait. Sorry, sir. I'm going to take one puff and then feed me. <laughs> Big one this morning. Oh, well done, sir. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way a real captain drinks their tea. A fine breakfast! <laughs> For a fine captain. Oh, a more gallant captain there rode the wave, sir. No, no, a more huge captain in stature and in spirit. A more noble demeanour has never been seen on a captain, sir! 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 <laughs> Boys, you sound like lively chickens this morning, and I'm pleased to hear it. It's our first time at sea, sir. We're twins. Yes, sir, and we're so happy to be serving you and the captain, sir. It's an honour. Please sing me my morning compliments. <laughs> boys. Yes! Um, oh, let me get the door for you. You know I can't look at a woman. <laughs> so can you address all of your comments to me rather than the captain? Thank you very much. I've been at sea so long the sight of a woman could cause me to explode. You can look at him through this mirror though. <laughs> um, if, if you could please furnish your captain with the information that uh, I, reviewing Susan, I, I think he'll remember me quite intimately, um, is here and wishes to have an audience with him uh, post haste. <laughs> she wishes me to relate to you that she, reviewing Susan, is here and uh, requests an audience with you uh, at your easiest convenience. Captain, I know you're not supposed to look or talk to a woman, but she's got a job and in this day and age that's very unusual. She seems a very eloquent lady, sir, if I don't have step my bound, sir. Thank you. She is an eloquent lady. Before I set to sea, I was quite romantic, me. But then I went to hunt a whale. And since then, the company of males. In order to be captain, one must be straight. One cannot afford the dalliances of a mate. I lock myself in my quarters with Rolf and Cliff. But occasionally, I ponder a woman, what if? You are my love. 
out of here to embrace Susan, the female. To embrace Susan, Susan, the female. We're not really that different. She made my heart sing. It's really laid on thick, but we're just really a physical difference. Very similar, but we connected. Susan, we did. Gonna see her again. Let's set sail in bed. Let's set. to be 17. I would have said you were a girl of 15 at least, maybe even nine. Oh, it's because of the malnutrition I suffered as a child. <laughs> well, I mean, it is rife, it is rife. Yeah. I, I sometimes laugh as I, I go past in carriages that the poor children sit as well, <laughs> just thinking, well, it's not me. Oh, I was brought up on a diet of suet and mud. Oh. Mud. I had mud cakes when I was a child. It was so nice. But I tell you, I tell you what you must do. You this I mean afternoon teas, creams, cones and, and strawberries and all of that, and they are very fine strawberries. That's nothing. You must come to the captain's table with me. Uh, it, it's up on the top deck. He has it laid out. He likes me because I'm his aunt. Oh. Yes, most people don't like their aunts, but he says he likes me. Oh, that's very nice. Mm. Oh, that would be lovely, but I don't think the captain's table... Well, you can borrow one of my dresses, dear, if that's what's worrying you. Oh, well, I've got a common face, I've got a common voice. I think I'll get it all wrong. I tell you, I tell you what we'll do. I tell you, we'll practice. We'll practice now. Why don't you stand up for me? Stand up, stand up. I'm going to put this book that I've got here on your head. You'll just try and keep as straight as possible, because half of being posh is about posture. You see? You see that? You see? <laughs> Something my mother taught me. <laughs> right, ladies. And what we're going to do, ladies, is we're going to have you stand up straight, and then we're going to take a couple of these grapes, just shove them in your lips. Okay? And now, try talking now. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> my name is Mavis. How do you do? A transformation! <laughs> a transformation, Mavis! <laughs> and so in one of my dresses, you'll come for dinner with me. We'll just make sure that we keep restocking the grapes as they collapse. <laughs> Mavis, I just cleaned up a load of the shit. I'm not worthy! <laughs> Look what I was... Do you normally burst into a lady's cabin? Yeah, sorry about that. Oh, you like to knock? <laughs> you could knock. No? Okay, fine. She'll apologise. And yes, and yes, Rosie. The way I am, my commonalities, as you might call them, that's the only thing that's keeping me felt connected to home. I'm sorry, dear. Just let me deal with it, because he did not. He did oh. not. We're going through something very deep and emotional at the moment, so we'll come back later. All oh, right. Oh. OK, dear. <laughs> Carry on. That was weird. But as it was as I was saying, every mo- I'm trying to go through something quite important with the young lady. If you could just come back later. Sorry, Mr. Mitchell, we just want to share it. Oh. Right, Mavis, where were we? Deep and meaningful. Speak from your heart. Thing is, miss, I'm very grateful for the dress and for the posture advice, but 
I feel like I'm not being myself and every every mile we sail away from home I feel more and more con disconnected from my family and my family are my heart. Oh, you poor child. I just, I just feel like I'm forgetting who I am. You must never forget. felt much more than your eyes could ever see. <laughs> Permission to leave, sir, because the semen feels awkward. Granted. Thank you, sir. I'll put my quill and parchment aside. I like to take it old school. <laughs> Susan, you're as randy as ever. Yes. My love of vintage writing tools is a metaphor for the lust of my loins that I feel toward you. Why are you so afraid of my power as a woman? I'm like a generator. Not, not, not like electric, but hot. <laughs> Motorized. You are hot, Susan. I worry that I'll be debilitated. How can a ship run without a captain? I don't want to take your job. I just want to take you. Your feminine powers may melt my abilities. <laughs> Darling, you are not a glacier. You are a man of flesh and blood. You are a man with want and wants such as mine. Want and wants. Maybe not quite as kicky, but want and nonetheless. <laughs> Much more conservative in my passions. <laughs> but the time that I did, you know, with the, the ruler, you didn't object. <laughs> no, it was... My introduction to your way of doing things sexually. And the time that I suggested we do voices. Yes, I remember that. I've still got that voice you told me. Yes. I talked in a low voice. 
We sort of swap genders. <laughs> that time that I made us open the curtains and we were in a carriage on a thoroughfare. Oh, the excitement was so thrilling I almost dropped my nib. Everyone could see. Everyone. Children. <laughs> Everyone. Oh, God, Susan, I think I need to see. I feel that is a conservative title given what you see before you. <laughs> We've taken off your top! <laughs> it burst off as soon as I lay eyes upon your beauty. Oh, I made your pectorals erect! <laughs> They're like tits! <laughs> Moves! Yes, they are. But I can see past that! Because I'm a modern woman. Yes. I write things. Listen, if you can't allow yourself to fully feel my passion. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> As is the modern fashion, then you will never be truly happy. Come on to my bow wave. Okay. Susan, I'm ready. Mm. I'm ready to change what I knew. I'm ready to listen. Train me, show me new things. Ah, introduce me to your unknown dinglings. Oh, no. 
Oh, you got tea here? What? No. Well, you're so noble and wise, and you've killed sea monsters. Fuck it! You thought you might be a hero. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still going. I've decided. <laughs> I'm on this boat for a good time, not a long time. <laughs> Icebergs ahead. Bring it on! Are Death! You, are you sure that is the wisest course? You <laughs> should take no You can have as much sex as you want to drink, also don't be an To hell with okay. white wisdom! This is now a sex boat! We're gonna die and I love it! And you're gonna love it too! Ooh. It, it was really fun when we were doing really bizarre things and, and, and ooh, it's burning and oh, ten times and up on the ceiling, but death? Death? Oh. That mouse you shoved up my ass. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Huh? You crawled up your digestive tract. You sh showed me new bodily orify I didn't even know I had. Cliff, I'm sorry. I can't take this. I'm jumping ship. Cliff! Oh. Cliff! Oh. Rolf, my chicken-sounding servant. I'm all alone. Join us. <laughs> really? I'm not like 12 years old. <laughs> Join us. I suppose it's better to die a man than a virgin. That's right. Room service! Um, I've got that guinea pig you ordered. <laughs> Are you here, Reginald? Are you here? I've met this lovely girl. Her name's Mavis, and I think she should come to tea with us or dinner. Oh, know. she's going to do more than tea with us. <laughs> Mavis, join us. Join us in this sex quarter. Oh! We're about the same age. <laughs> Give me that guinea pig. Uh, yes, perhaps you should look after... <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Did it's he just put a guinea pig down his trousers? He's a quick learner, Rolf. <laughs> mm. I'm not sure this goes with my Victorian sensibilities. Oh, uh, hello. I noticed you, you were cleaning the toilet the other day I with was, such a yeah. plum. <laughs> you really scoured the rim most deftly. Oh, thank you. I'm good at scouring in rims. You're great. <laughs> You're great, Steve. You're great. Perfect. I, I, I'd like to apologise in advance. I seem to have created quite, quite the monster, but I... No, not at all. Can't resist it. It's time for the ladies' bathroom to open. No longer women sitting on the toilet talking to each other. Here's the key, sir. It's time to unleash their sexuality. Rolf, open it. Let them flood in. Oh my god, I'm the only other lady on the ship. And you're a captain. Apart from Susan, of course, but I like that you're gender fluid. Yes. I am actually a lady as well. It's true. It was yesterday I was not, but today I turned 19. So real lady. Did your voice just draw? <laughs> sounds, sounds like it has. Yes, it Hello. Did. I heard there was That's a sex what you have party to do. going on up here in the captain's quarters. Oh yes, which actually leads on to the women's bathroom, which is a bizarre turn of events and oh, no, 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 you should have seen him when he was a boy. He had this little drill and he used to bore holes in it into the ladies' little and sit there. You oh, seem to oh, know each other remarkably. Well, I'm his aunt! aunt. <laughs> I'm his aunt! Oh, dear, I'm his aunt! <laughs> Sorry, I, I do appear to be rather quite naked. Family boundaries are now family opportunities. <laughs> yes. Yes. Why not? I can't help but feel like I'm, I'm not sure I want to get into that. <laughs> no, I, I do. I do love you all. Open your mind, yes. Auntie, because today we're gonna bring on the icebergs. We're bringing them here. We're making love in these quarters. Do you hear? Oh, you will come.